All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So I'm gonna do what I did on the last video. I'm gonna start, we're gonna go to the fireplace if you've never been here before, but we're gonna go, we're gonna talk a little bit fundamentals and just some, you know, non-technical thoughts is the best way to put it, all right? From there, we will jump into the technicals. And I mean, you can already see it on Tilray. We are under all five moving averages. We are seeing a death cross right now as well with the eight going under the 20, right? Like this is scary and it, and it is kind of echoing across the sector, right? But again, I'll give some of my just general thoughts in a sec and then we'll go through each of these tickers shortly, all right? But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friend, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here and giving me your time, I am so, so thankful for it all, all right? So before we get into the technicals, let's take a quick trip down to the fireplace, all right? So my name is not Timothy, but I do want to give Tim some credit for this picture, and no, 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 that is not a little baby picture of me from back in the day all right so uh, just some funny comments I saw from people so let's let me let me do what I did last time I want to talk about three dates let's talk about three dates and then from there a couple just high level you know Germany thoughts and and sector thoughts all right so the first date is actually tomorrow so tomorrow on the 16th Canada is going to do a big update about their financials and there are some rumors and this is where I really have some questions because I try to do some googling actually and I couldn't find a lot but there are rumors that there's going to be some tax reform in the weed sector. How confident are we that this is going to happen? Is this really a rumor and oh my like cross your fingers and toes, is there some real good confidence because there was some stuff said by some, you know, important people, this or that. Let me know what the thought is. I personally am just looking at it as a rumor right now because like I said, I tried to look some stuff up and I really, really couldn't see a lot of weed specific things. Definitely a lot about the, the event happening tomorrow, don't get me wrong. So I can tell it's definitely a very important thing for the, for the nation, but I'm not sure how focused weed is going to be, but that's the first date, tomorrow the 16th, all right? The next date that's running around is a U.S. focused date, and it is the 19th, all right? So 419. 419, from what I'm gathering, there are some beliefs that I think it's Schumer driven, but nonetheless, there are there are beliefs that there's going to be some bill, that, some bill, some bill that will be put to vote. All right. Now, again, do I know the details of the bill? Clearly, I don't. Right. I can barely tell if it's Schumer or someone else driven. Right. But again, it's a rumor. And you know me. I love rumors. All right. Just throw them in the pot and let it mix. OK. What's starting to become the issue is, I think, and I'll talk about this shortly, is the reality of this Tilray earnings is having a weird you know, fall out across the region and across the sector, excuse me, right? So I'm not sure what's going to win one of these Canadian or U.S. moments or just the realities of the earnings, all right? The last date is, is 420, all right? So 420 is, you know, Christmas for weed, for lack of words. I don't know what else to call it, right? But I... I am not, all right, I'm going to say this one more time. I am not here hoping and praying that 420 does good things, all right? To me, that's the equivalent of praying for the meme army to come, and that's not what we do here, right? Hopefully, that's not that's not what I do. I'll tell you that, right? I, I, I live and die by technicals, right? Not hopes and wishes that that magic happens on a special day, you know what I mean? So, me personally... I don't think there's a squeeze coming on the 20th. Now, maybe I'm a little more hopeful on this Canadian tax thing, because let's be honest, if 
there are any positive changes to the tax laws, whether it's for the companies themselves or whether it's for the consumers buying it. Anything that helps company financials is crazy bullish, especially when the wall has been shut for so, so long, right? So it's been more than a decade, right? So if, if something magical happens in terms of tax changes, I think that could be big. If something big happens on the US side, I think that could be big as well. Because again, I think we're starting to lose the Kamala Harris buzz, right? Vice President says to her first positive weed thinks in, 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 in since taking the term, right? And and you know, it's kind of fizzled, right? So hopefully something happens on the 19th. I'm not buying the 20th. Why do I believe that the till rate earnings, I'm not coming to the next topic, right? Why do I believe that the till rate earnings is having this fallout, right? I've said this sentence a couple times. I'm going to say it one more time. When the king or queen goes down, the empire takes notice, all right? And I'm not using the word die, dead, sick, or anything. But yeah, till rate went down. And to me, till rate is and continues to be the king of the sector, the queen of the sector for my ladies out there, right? Now, I know that there are some US tickers that have absolutely nothing to do with Canada. I know this, that, and those. And believe me, what I'm saying is completely opinion driven. It is really just an opinion I have that has no real data or fact behind it, okay? Ooh, excuse me, okay? But I do believe that till rate is number one because of the volume and because of that crazy run that we saw to 200 back, 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 back in the IPO day, right? So um, till rate goes down in my eyes is the equivalent of if the king or queen goes down, the empire takes notice. And look, the empire is taking notice. The empire doesn't necessarily crumble every time, right? Like we've, we've seen like literally in, in, in history, we've seen things continue on, right? So let's see how it shakes out for others. Definitely still scared for Tilray specifically, all right? So um, I think that's everything on the fundamental side, almost seven minutes on the dot, not too shabby in terms of chaptering it. Let's come into the technicals, all right? We're gonna start with Tilray as we always do and, and the realities are not looking good, okay? We saw it before, this is literally a perfect view. This was the last earnings on January 9th. We were above all the moving averages, riding the eight and the 20 up. Lo and behold, we make our way down. This time, same thing. We were riding the eight and the 20 up, breaking all the moving averages. We have a bad earnings and we have now gapped down and fallen below, all right? We have confirmed in my eyes that we lost this 185. It really makes a lot of sense to me that we're probably heading to 162. It does. I don't know if this right here, 173, is going to be strong enough to hold this, but look at, I mean, that's a bad MACD. That's an RSI that's just kind of riding the red line down. I'm not even looking at the 40 number. I'm really looking at the red line dominating right now. And then this is horrible volume. All right, and what I'm seeing is the volume could be worse. Look, all we're actually doing is just hitting the 50-day average. If we start dropping a number of these bigger ones, oh man, that's that's what really could be scary. But I'm I'm not liking this. Look, 40 is not even the lowest the RSI goes before you start wondering if you turn, right? I think this wants to at least go to 30. I it's been a while. Wow, look how far back I got to zoom. We've been down here at, at sub 20, all right? We've been even lower at single digits. I'm clicking here at an eight. Now, granted, this is the end of 22, right? We're in 24. So it's not like this is relatively recently, right? But hey, this is another sub 20 right here, right? And we're only at 40. So I'm, I'm worried. I do think we're coming to 162. Um, Maybe 160, yeah, 160, whatever, 160s. I think we're going to go below 170. I do think that. I think we're going to hit into the 160s. I'm not going to talk about all-time lows yet. We're not going to talk about that 150 line until we need to, but um, Tilray, this is getting scary. It is, all right? And to me, it's something I've always said. Earnings reactions linger, 
All right, this one basically lingered until Kamala Harris made a random comment that no one expected to, to take off, right? So to me, if it wasn't for this Kamala moment, this thing would have kept going down, had bad earnings, and had even worse of a moment. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm scared. Green, 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 green is seemingly turning into red, 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 red. You know what I mean? So I'm worried here. I really, really am. We're under them all on the weekly as well. Look, I know it's only Monday. There's still a lot of places this candle can go, but I'm seeing a negative MACD. I'm seeing not a good RSI. And yeah, volume hasn't even really gotten bad on the weekly just yet. So, um, and I'm saying just yet, it, it could pick up, but yeah, I got to assume bad until the charts tell me otherwise, right? So not looking good here to say the least. All right, let's move into CGC real quick. I'm not liking CGC. Now listen, this is only, hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe and share, it does wonders with these algorithms, all right? Um, I'm never here to make crazy assumptions on a single candle, all right? I'm human and sometimes I get things wrong and I do it, but I'm at least catching myself here. Look, this is only the first candle under the 20 moving average. Generally, I always say I'm bullish above the eight and the 20, but I'm really worried that green, 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 green can turn into red, 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 red. This thing might come down sub six. We're knocking on the door of seven. I could really see this coming as low as, man, 570, if not maybe six flat even. I think a six flat to 570 seems realistic. I don't like that MACD. I don't like the RSI and volume hasn't gotten worse. It's definitely not great. That's an easy thing to say, right? And now we're starting to miss the 50. I would hate to have some big bad volume days, all right? So I actually would not touch CGC until here i think until over like nine and maybe even a little bit comfortably over nine but um yeah this one's a little scary here i i i, I would i would worry here and again there have been no big headlines about cgc that say hey this thing deserves to come down right like there's been there was nothing in the tilray earnings that said bring them doll down with me right but Right now, I'm just kind of seeing the, the sector react. Listen, these three lines are very strong. I, I find it really hard to believe we're going to lose these three unless something very bad specifically happens here, right? But let's see if we can rebound. I would love to get this back over 774, all right? Basically gain another 10%. But again, I don't even think I would touch this thing until like nine. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. I'm kind of moving fast because these are really all kind of the same. Look, the exact same thoughts. So I'm going to chapter these two, all right? Sandal and CGC, this is just one candle under the 20. You can't make crazy assumptions on one candle. But green, 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 red, 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 red. I can see this falling to a buck 60. I think that's very realistic. MACD isn't quite negative, but I don't like that. RSI, that's, that's still high and I think it can go lower. And again, volume's not looking good, right? So the exact same thoughts. I don't want to repeat it too, too much. Oh, I think it's getting crazy windy outside. And then look, the weekly looks like it's, it's kind of rejecting this 100, right? Again, maybe 175 will hold. This said, what, 160, right? Maybe that 175 on the weekly will be a little bit strong for SNDL, but um, yeah, nonetheless, I don't think we're losing those three, the exact same comments I said on the other one, all right? Let's take a look at High Tide real quick. And again, High Tide was an interesting one because we kind of got that fake out pop and clearly we're seeing the follow through here, all right? So um, listen, there was nothing that warranted High Tide to come down. There was nothing that Tilray said that should have struck fear in high tide, all right, or or this, that, and those, all right. But um, I wish volume was a little bit higher. Clearly, these are the three or five biggest days of trading, right? So the fact that it's relatively close to it is a good thing, all right. This is not a stock where I think six hundred thousand shares plus of trading a day, right? So the volume's good right? This is a great view of it. We've seen this before only for it to fizzle, right? So I'm hoping that's not what happens here. But, you know, right now I kind of have to assume some bad things until, you know, the sector picks up, right? Am I thinking horrible things about high tide specifically? I'm not. Am I worried about the sector? I am, right? So this one's still over the 20, 
Um, again, we've seen one that's under a mall. We've seen two that's just under it. This one's a little bit above, right? I'm seeing a, a turning MACD, a worrisome RSI, and bad volume kind of across all of them so far, right? So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let, you know, I wanted to go to ACB before I go to MSOS. ACB. This one's interesting, but again, I think, hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe, if you can please share, it does wonders with the algorithms. Um, this one's interesting, right? Because this one's, I would say, better than the rest so far, right? This one's only under the eight, where some are a lot closer to the 20, under the 20, under them all, right? So ACB, I would say, is doing the best of this. Look, I would also say ACB didn't do as well of breaking the 200 moving average like the rest did, right? So, you know, I think it's a little bit of a give and take. I still got to believe we're coming to the 20 moving average. Now, the 20 might still be coming up here, so maybe this 575 holds, but yeah, I'm, I'm, ta I'm, I'm seeing the volume, I'm seeing the MACD, sorry, the MACD and the RSI kind of hint at the same thing. Um, I'm not thinking we're going to lose all the moving averages just yet, but yeah, I think we're, we're coming down and let's see how it reacts to that, all right? So um, I at least got to squeeze it in, it wasn't much. Now let's come into MSOS. Honestly, this one surprises me a little bit, all right? Really quickly, if you can please subscribe, if you can please share, it, it, it does wonders. Um, this one surprises me a little bit because, yeah, I think in the back of my head, I actually somewhere thought that if Tilray did bad, people would come focus on the U.S. People would ignore the Canadian noise. They'd focus on the U.S. rumors and maybe the MSOSs would do better. Clearly, that hasn't been the case. And again, it's still why it, 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 it makes me believe Tilray is still the king. When a Canadian stock's earnings bring down arguably the biggest U.S. weed ETF, I think that says a lot, you know what I mean? So this is under them, we're seeing a death cross, we're seeing the bad MACD, bad RSI, and not the best of volume, right? So this one did surprise me, but end of the day, it echoes the rest, right? So look, let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions on any of these, or if you disagree or agree, right? But yeah, I think there's reason to worry for sure, unless something happens on one of these next big coming days, right? So hey, I appreciate you so, so much.